Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure Wii. I'm actually going to call it the right name this time. It's like I'm pretty sure if you went and um, if you went through the the, I'm, I'm gonna take like the the, the fighter ability because I, I I feel like I've uh, not slept on it, but I feel like I don't take it as much as I could. Like look at this nonsense here. And then there's like this falcon kick ability that you also have, which is crazy. But the, um, so yeah, well, I I'm pretty sure if you like go back through like, through like, uh, um, through, um, whoa. Ah, this level, I remember this now. No, my fighter ability, how dare you! I don't want this whip. This whip is like the biggest load of garbage. Not garbage, but it's like... No, and I'm not using the stone ability either. Oh, do you remember the days when if you sucked up like two enemies, you'd get like a, a roulette... Uh, you, you'd get like a roulette chance to have like any ability in the game? I remember in like Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, I used to like... Try and do that so, so much. I used to try and do that, like, so much just to get the, the UFO power up. Just to get the UFO power up because it was so rare and I lo I was so, like, obsessed with it or whatever. Um, there's something, like, about this level that, like, makes me think of, like, uh, Yoshi's story as well for some reason. I have, like, a feeling that they'd, like, do something dirty, like, I'd, uh... Well, the Maxim Tomato is, is, is as good as the rest, right? Um, I was gonna say, like, that they do something dirty, like hide an energy core down there. How am I supposed to, like... Like that, I guess? Um... The, uh... But, um, yeah, so I used to, like, when Nightmare in Dreamland was, like, the... The Kirby game that I played the most it, during during my life or whatever. Um, what's up with like all these weird abilities they're giving me all over the place here. But uh, the um, and I used to like like try and suck up like two enemies just to be able to have a chance at getting the UFO power up or whatever. Like that's how much I loved it. Which why wouldn't you? Like the UFO power up is just cool. But, um, so, so yeah, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure if you went, like, I'm pretty sure if you went through to the trouble of, like, looking at some of my, like, um, I'm gonna get you because it looks like they're trying to suggest you to me. And because I'll, it'll mean I'll, I'm able to, like, ice skate. This is, like, scary to me, fighting, fighting doobie or under under these uh, circumstances. Oh, well, if they're giving me health, though, I don't mind. It's like I'm afraid to shield as well because it does, like, that... that slidey thing or whatever. How does he have, like, so little health now all of a sudden? It looks, like, a little bit weird. But, um... Like, I'm pretty sure if you went back and, like, went to the trouble of, like, looking at some of my, like, Twilight Princess or Pokemon Shield videos, I guarantee you there's, like, there there's, like, some, um, there's, like, some video where I, I definitely, like, call one the, the, the wrong thing. Like, there must be, surely. Like, one where I call, like, either Twilight Princess. Ooh, I really like this one. <laughs> no, that was way too scary. Um, well, it's just a one-up, maybe. This music though is like going all out. But uh, the it's just nice to be able to like fly around here with the greatest of ease. Ah, you taught. You thought I didn't know that you were the branch outside my window. I like I, I need to like find that uh, that clip that, that or whatever because like 
it's actually like surprisingly hard to hard to find some of the more like random um some of the more like random SpongeBob like SpongeBob clips or whatever. And that that's like one of them. I need to like see if I can find it. Um that one where he's like you thought I didn't you thought I didn't know that you were the branch outside my window. It's like in that one episode where like Squidward takes a day off or something like that. And um where Squidward like takes a takes a day off or whatever and he thinks that like Spongebob is like goofing off the whole time when really he's just like there to crass cr crasty crub the, cr the crasty crub the, cr the crusty crab doing like fuck all um the uh and there's one part where he just like goes crazy and he just like goes in there and he's like you thought I didn't know that you were the branch outside my window because he thinks like this piece of coral that's uh he thinks like this piece of coral is like SpongeBob laughing or something like that. But uh so so yeah. <laughs> but like another one that's like hard to find, which I think is like one of the funniest like bits in um in SpongeBob is in like the opposite day episode where they're where they're like where they're like being Squidward or whatever. Like there's this one part where No, I, I wanted this. But I also want this. So what do I do with this now though is the is the question. Do I take it like with me? Whoa, 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 whoa. This this is like they're, they're like not joke fooling around here with this like key nonsense all of a sudden. Especially these like indestructible enemies. But um in the like the opposite day, right? Like we all know like the the funny clips like let's say like I'm Squidward I'm Squidward 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 and all of this kind of thing and like and, and like he's Squidward he's Squidward you're Squidward I'm Squidward like we all know that we all know like those like classics but like one of my favorite bits of all time from um, from that like episode is, is like is, is like when they're just walking into like Squidward's gallery where he has all of his artwork or whatever and um, I'm fucking glad that I took that key with me that whole way for a good reason or I would have fucking screamed um, but yeah when they go into like Squidward's gallery or whatever and she says something like my these are some impressive paintings you have here Mr. Squidward and like Patrick like bursts out of a painting right in front of her face and goes thank you like that <laughs> like, and like and like scares the bejesus out of her like like for me that's like one of the funniest like it, it's so simple but it's so hilarious it's like one of the the funniest like comedic timing moments in in all of spongebob history or whatever but like there is nothing there there is no like one video that just has like that scene with the with the thank you where he like bursts out of there or whatever. And I think feel like it's a real oversight on the part of the people who upload these scenes to, to YouTube for posterity or whatever. I also really like this in that they just like gave us the mega sword power up and they're like, yeah, it's the last level of the game, just go hog wild, you know? Oh, it's Walter Gal... It's Walter Galvross or Galbross or whatever. The insurance salesman or from accounting or something like that. The, um... But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. That That's, that's just a funny moment. Like, there are a couple of moments like that that are just, like... That are just funny. Like, they, and, and I feel like they're just not kind of, um... Whoa, whoa! I guess I should have seen that one coming. If road works ahead, I sure hope it does. But, uh... So, yeah. We were just like, today is like Sunday the, the 12th... Oh, it's the 12th of the 12th. How, uh, insignificant. Um, the... We had like a nice day today. We pretty much like went into... So it's like two weeks until Christmas. Isn't that crazy? Um, but the, um... We decided today, since it's since it's Sunday and and we both had some time in the morning, we headed into we headed into town. 
um, early in the morning so that the um, early in the morning so the town wouldn't be too busy or whatever um, to get some stuff for like Christmas presents and stuff like that. I ended up buying almost as many things for myself as for other people, which I don't know what kind of like what what kind of impression that makes of me, but the um, but uh, yeah. The, um, I didn't mean to do that, but the, um, but it was really nice, so we went in, got some, bought some books for people and things like that. The, the problem is, is that, like, when I see stuff that I'm like, oh, that person would like that, a lot of the time I'm like, oh, I'd actually kind of like it for myself as well. Um, so it's almost like, I, I almost, like, don't want to give it to them. I'm like, this present is so nice, it's like, I, I, I want it all for myself. But, um, but, uh, so, so there's that. We also got the Christmas tree last weekend. Oh, oh my god, I feel like, how did I not, like, talk about, like, going Christmas tree shopping with my mother yet? But the, um, so we went Christmas tree shopping, and the, uh, we went Christmas tree shopping, um, and... I love my mother, I'm going to preface this by saying I love my mother very much and we have a fantastic relationship, right? And we love spending time with each other. Um, but, like, going Christmas tree shopping with her was like, like, it required me to exercise, like, as much patience as like, Whoa, it's in there! Th that wasn't right. <laughs> I guess I'll die. The, um, going Christmas tree shopping, this is probably karma for me talking about my, talking about, like, needing so much patience to go Christmas, something, to go something like Christmas tree shopping with my own mother, the audacity, right? So, the, um, the, uh, so, we go Christmas tree shopping, my, my, like, strategy, right, if you could call this a strategy, for me this is just being a normal person, my way of wanting to go Christmas tree shopping is that I go, I look around, I look at all of the Christmas trees, right? And then I maybe go on like another, another lap to make sure that I haven't missed anything and things like that. And maybe then I'll have like a short list of, of a, of a, of a couple of them that I think I might, that, that might like do the, that might do the trick or whatever. Um, uh, so, so, like, and, and then when, when I finally, like, made my decision, I will go ahead and I will purchase the Christmas tree, right? That this, this is the way, this is the way I do. Whoa, 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 whoa. This really, what a dangerous dinner this is. <laughs> Look at this image. Like, what the fuck is Kirby doing? <laughs> He's just, like, an entire sphere floating on top of the water like that. But the, um, so, and then I will go and purchase the Christmas tree. It's, it's, the Christmas tree is for my house, so I have a pretty good idea of how big it needs to be, right? And I have a good idea of, like, um, of whether it'll fit in the car or not, and, and I also know what kind of Christmas tree I like, right? And so, so it's, my, my process is somewhat systematic, right? Um, so, here I am walking around systematically looking for my favorite power-up in the game, systematically observing the Christmas tree. Meanwhile, my mother is wandering around the place, like, wandering to random, random trees. Um, wandering around looking at, like, random trees and calling at me from, like, across the, from, from, like, a, from across the, uh, from across the, the the tree place, saying hi, did you see this one? Like shouting, like yelling at me, going like Harry, did you go? Did you see this one? Look at this one! And because like I'm, because like I'm I'm a polite person, and I'm not going to be like leave me alone. I'm Christmas tree shopping. Um, like I go over and I walk over to where she is, right? And then I'm like, yes, but like look at that. It's like. It's a lot smaller than what I usually get because I again I talked about this in another video But tall ceilings are able to benefit from having a large Christmas tree and all of this kind of good stuff that I want to take advantage of So then she's like, oh, okay, 
Then, like, without fail, it happened about three times, and it was like, no, because look, this one has hardly any branches at the top. It's like all very full and bushy at the bottom, but nothing at the top, and that's not going to look nice either. There are nicer ones here, and all of it. So this happened about three times, right? Then I picked one out, and it was, is that not too wide? And I'm like, no, it's nice and big, and I, there's loads of space for a Christmas tree. I'm moving the bookshelf into the other room to accommodate the Christmas tree, so I have loads of room for a nice, big, full, girthy Christmas tree. Any of you on the Discord server? The, the, the Rock Paper Mario Discord, Discord server will know that will have seen a picture of the Christmas tree, right? Um, and it is extremely girthy, like like uh, of a certain like a certain girth Brooks we all know too much about at this stage. So I finally pick it out. She's like, okay, I'm gonna look at some other stuff. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, that's what you've been doing this whole time is looking at other stuff. But still, I I'll let you do that. And I'll wait here, and then the gentleman who works at the Christmas tree place is gonna come over here and wrap up my Christmas tree, right? Um, so, anyway, I, the guy is over there talking about the tree. I'm like, this is the one I'd like. He's like, yeah, okay, go in there, I'll get it wrapped up. You go pay, I'll get it wrapped up, blah, blah, blah. At this exact moment, my mother calls over from a completely different part of the place going, Hi, did you see this one over here? And I'm thinking, I have seen every tree here three times. I know all of the trees here intimately at this stage. And I have already started the, the, the kind of contractual process of purchasing this one with the, the good fellow who works here. And I'm like, no, it's okay, I'm going to buy this one, it's fine. I'm like, oh my god. Anyway, I have so few things to complain about. The only thing I'm able to complain about is the Christmas tree shopping experience with my dear mother. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this part of Let's Play Kirby's... I nearly called it Kirby's Epic Cairn. Do we have enough time to fight the boss? Uh...